Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th Hammer tutorial in the version 2 series. This tutorial will apply to all Source Engine games. I will be using Counter-Strike Global Offense to complete this tutorial. Today we're going to very quickly add water to our level. Adding water is a very simple process, and you need to start by going and selecting your node draw texture. Once you have node draw selected, create a brush in your level that will represent where all the water will be. Once this brush is created, press Shift A to select the face edit sheet and click browse to browse for a new texture. Do a search on water, nature, or liquid and that should give you all of the water textures available for your game. I'm going to select liquids slash boathouse water. You may notice that there's different thumbnails here. There's these blue ones and the ones that kind of look like water. These are expensive versus cheap water textures. The expensive water textures will cast reflections and refractions whereas the cheap ones will not, but they can move. We're now going to right click to apply our texture to the top of our water brush. When you create water, every side of the brush should be no draw except for the top. We're now going to select our prop statics that we have in our level, so we can force them to have reflections in our water. Render in fast reflections needs to be set to yes. And when you click apply, now that tells the game that Reflections should be drawn for these props in your water or fast reflections. I'm now going to press F9 and compile my level. Here we are in game. We see that we have our water and its refractions underneath. It also has a nice blue fog to it. There are many different water textures. You'll just have to find the ones that work best for you. We also see that we have our reflection from our water tower here because we set that key value. If that key value was not set, we would not get this reflection. That key value may not exist in the game that you're working in. If it doesn't, the props should automatically reflect without you having to do anything. When you swim in water, you may notice that there is a fog cutoff. This is defined in the VMT, and you can edit it if you know what you're doing. But other than that, that's all you have to know about water for creating it. There are some other limitations to water that you'll find when you create. I'll list those limitations in the comment section below, and I'll also put them in an overlay on the video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope this quick tutorial helped you add expensive water to your level. Stay tuned for more version 2 tutorials. And happy mapping!